the forehead of your robot. Toy Story is one of the greatest movie series in the world. I loved it growing up. I loved Pixar movies since I was a kid. However there's something that I've been devastated from that I think I might feel comfortable telling you. I was browsing on the web, watching YouTube videos, and looking on Google images of Toy Story, etc. Until I got a mail notification on my laptop saying I got an email from Pixar. As I opened the email, it said. Dear biggest Toy Story fan in Australia, we have found a very dark deleted scene of Toy Story 2. A former Pixar animator was fired for adding this in a film for children and his taste in horror films, so we dropped it out and replaced it with a better one for children. Only watch this at your own risk. The Pixar team. I was very surprised and confused. How did they even know me? And how was there a deleted draft of Toy Story 2? But I accepted the email anyway. The file name was, Toy Story 2, Woody's Nightmare Beta.mov. So it was a deleted version of Woody's Nightmare from Toy Story 2, huh? I used to be scared of that scene when I was little. I thought. I opened the file, and it had a message before the video started. This deleted scene of Toy Story 2 has been changed and will never be seen by the public. This disturbing clip is not for the faint-hearted. Viewer discretion is advised. Moving right on, it showed a shot of Andy's house at dawn. When it cut to Andy's room, Woody was on the shelf sleeping that Andy's mom put him on after Andy accidentally ripped his arm. Just then, the Davis's car rolled in through the window, getting Woody's attention. Andy hooped, as heard in the film itself. Woody asked himself, noticing Andy. He then looked down at the rest of the toys and called out. Hey, everybody! Andy's back! He's back early from Cowboy Camp! On the ground were Mr. Potato Head, Rocky, Slinky and Rex playing cards, getting Woody's attention. Ham, next to the door shouted. Places, everybody! Andy's coming! All of the toys scattered around the room to find their usual places. Woody heard Andy's footsteps approaching upstairs so he became motionless. Andy burst into his room, riding a wooden hobby horse humming the Lone Ranger theme as usual heard in the movie. He then stepped up to the shelf and spotted Woody on the ladder. Hey Woody, did you miss me? Andy said his usual dialogue in the film. He then snatched Woody off and swung him around, until he stopped and noticed something. Oh, I forgot. Andy moaned, noticing the rip on Woody's arm. You're broken. He said as he tugged at the arm. Andy then moved Woody away from him, and said his same line from the film, but it shifted to a distorted filter like heard in four in dubs of the scene. I don't wanna play with you anymore. He fell on a pile of cards that the toys were playing earlier. It then went to an empty sea of flying cards, but the background was in a shade of crimson red rather than the blue teal background. Woody then fell through a larger card, but it was ignited in flames. What am I watching right now? I said under my breath. Woody then fell through a spotlight and into an empty dustbin. It then cut to a shot of Woody lying in the dustbin full of mismatched toy arms as seen in the movie. However the arms were faintly stained in blood. Woody regained movement and noticed he was in the dustbin. He jumped up and out of the dustbin to run. The arms then extended like a tentacle and shot at Woody, grabbed him by the ankle and pulled him into the air. They swung him around the anti-dark area before Andy's distorted echoing voice said off-screen. This is your new home. I hope you have a good time there. It showed a first-person shot of Woody being flung around as he can be heard screaming. It cut back to Woody continuing being swung around until the arms flung him down to the bin. It showed another first-person shot of Woody falling into the bin as a hole opened up. He landed on a rough ground. The floor was tiled in black and white. He put his hat back on and went to look around. Nice of you to visit, cowboy. A voice whispered. Woody darted his eyes around frantically, wondering where that voice came from. It showed a shot of a back view of Woody. Just then a mismatched arm then popped up out of nowhere and wrapped around Woody's neck to strangle him. I can hear Woody choking watching that horrible scene. More mismatched arms raised up in front of him. We are the broken toys. Nobody loves playing with any broken toy which means that we don't function properly. You are one of us now. We always obey the master who throws us away. 
the toys whispered, revealing to be the mysterious voice. A dust in then grew from the ground around Woody and more arms sprouted out around him. Pleaded Woody, as heard in the final film, as he tried to unclasp the arm around his neck. The arm just clasped back onto his neck, and the arms started pulling him down the dustbin, as Woody's chokes could still be heard. Just then, it showed a white circle from a worm's eye view shot and Andy approached in front of it, but he had a zombie-like appearance as his eyes were bloodshot and his skin was pale. Andy said sadly, echoing through the dustbin, as heard in the film itself. It showed a bird's eye view shot of Woody getting pulled down, as he was almost submerged in the pile of arms. Woody cried. And he then closed the lid. It showed a black screen after he did that. I was expecting something else to happen. Just then the silence was interrupted by a scream that belonged to Woody. The screaming continued until it showed an image of Woody lying on the ground motionless. His broken arm was torn off, he was missing his eyes, one of his boots was pulled off, his mouth was agape and he was lying on a bloody puddle. Side note, toys cannot bleed, but the blood obviously came from the arms since they were bloodstained. There were screams fading in slowly as the screen zoomed in on his face. But not long after, it showed a scene that came from the final movie, Woody screaming, waking up, which frightened me, and gasping for air, right before the scene he met Wheezy. Then the video ended. After seeing Woody's corpse, I rushed to the bathroom and vomited straight into the toilet. I posted it to YouTube, so I deleted the file so no one could have their childhoods ruined. I've had a lot of nightmares about that video clip, I've hallucinated Woody's lifeless face staring at me. The animator who made that scrapped animation of Woody's nightmare from Toy Story 2 must be sued. I haven't watched a Toy Story video, nor looked up an image after one I just saw. Later that night, I had a nightmare about garbage and mismatched toys killing me in the same way that they did to Woody in the dustbin. Never ever click suspicious links of deleted scenes from any movie.